Most of the manufacturers will use an engine for three years, sometimes even five years, you know, and they'll change certain things. This year's a complete engine redo, so we had to build a new piston, we had to build new cams, new valves, valve spring kit, work on head porting, every single part of it to try to make it as good as the last year's. Production bikes, if you averaged out the horsepower they're at and then you had a good race engine, it could be 10, 12, or possibly even 15% increase in horsepower. Internally, you could do a new piston, you could do new rings, you could do a new rod, cam, valves, springs, buckets, gearbox, crankshaft. But you don't want to do that because it's really expensive. You just want to work on the pieces that really you find that you can make an advantage out of. Something that's really common in the four-stroke is to change the piston. So like, uh, this is a production piston, and this is one that we actually make. We're usually trying to go with a little bit higher compression, so you usually do that on top of the piston. More compression is more pressure inside the engine, it's more heat, more combustion, which is, you know, explosion, yeah, more power. The shape or the profile and the taper of the piston, you want to try to get it to not rock quite as much, not rub. From a standard piston to like one of these pistons, there's anywhere from three quarters of a horsepower, sometimes even two horsepower difference. This is an intake valve. It opens up, your fuel and air atomized goes into the combustion chamber, and then it closes, seals, there's an explosion, and then it goes out the exhaust. Some of the valves are dished in this area, which is less compression. A lot of them will go to like a flat face. The other thing that you can do is mess with the, the back side of the valve so that this, this radius here flows different. This part, you know, it, it's, it's polished, tumbled, and then coated. So anything you can do to, to cut down friction is going to help performance. We'll send a guy a practice engine and we want him to be able to run it for 15 hours. We'll rebuild that and send it back. So we rotate practice engines every 15 hours. Our race engine, we need it to run four or five hours. We're in a terrible habit of pulling it apart every week. You're not really throwing parts away and changing it. You're just pulling it apart, inspecting it, measure it, make sure nothing's wearing funny, do whatever, and then you put it right back together.